Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. Um, it was a long, difficult, crazy weekend for me. Um, and uh, I'm having one of those morning Monday mornings where I wish I had another weekend um, so I could just relax and do what I want to do instead of things that just had to be done. Um, it You may have noticed that I didn't do a blog entry on Friday. If you follow the blog, you know that we do, or I do a blog entry every Monday and Friday. And I fully planned to have a blog entry on Friday, but I never made it into the office because um, just, you know, as my eight-year-old was eating breakfast, he uh, started scratching his head like crazy and <sighs> Lice has been going around his third grade classroom like crazy um, since, I guess, October. And we've been lucky enough that we have avoided it, I guess, because he has shorter hair. And, you know, boys don't tend to share hats and hair accessories as much as girls do. But anyway, it's in the classroom and it's just been rampant. And so we finally, like, his number finally came up of he was the kid with lice. So from 8 a.m. or maybe 7.30 a.m. till uh, 12.30 the next morning, um, I was doing nothing but uh, picking lice out of his hair, washing everything, laundering everything, vacuuming everything, um, you know, combing his hair out again, making sure that I got all the knits and everything. Um, basically, my entire Friday was lost to that. I got no work done. I did nothing or other than delousing. Um, and then um, Saturday was just a lot of the same, combing out again, making sure my 11 year old son has long, thick, beautiful hair. And we just were like braiding his hair and spraying it with this um, fairy tale spray to make sure he didn't get it. I had actually picked one off of my head, which was like, I've gone, I went my entire life up and I'm 45 years old up until today, up until then, never ever encountered lice in my life. I didn't even know what it looked like. Um, so I was pretty horrified when I picked one off of my head. Um, but I think it was like a rogue lice that like came from my son's head somehow, like when I hugged him, cause I haven't had anything else since then. But, um, you know, and you know, my husband and I did go to a They Might Be Giants concert on Saturday night, it was fantastic. It was like my one, good thing of the weekend and we had a fantastic time. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. That was a Christmas present to my husband uh, that we got to enjoy together. Um, but like usually by now I've had, I have like food prep for the week. I have, um, you know, my plan for the week. I'm, I'm doing my blog, I'm doing, you know, all this other stuff for work and I'm just like, I, I got nothing done really for myself over the weekend. It was just all for like getting rid of the lice. So it's a very, um, you know, something that when you are a stay at home parent who also owns their own business, it like the one little thing like this throws your entire workday off and throws your weekend off. It throws, who knows? I, I mean, I'm just hoping we got it all and I'm hoping that I don't have to go through this whole laundering thing again. And uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's more than a, a nuisance. It's a loss of, of income. It's a loss of time. It's a loss of my productivity. Um, I didn't get any exercise done for myself this weekend other than cleaning the house, which yeah, that's, that's exercise, but it's not <laughs> what I wanted to be doing. Um, so anyway, uh, that's my little 
story about a lice infestation in my home. And um, I know that many parents have been through it. I know that it's, you know, I hope this was the last time we have to do it. Uh, but oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I do not wish it on anyone. And, um, you know, I, I'm hoping that today, you know, I got my, my smoothie going, I walked to the office, I'm going to do some computer work, <laughs> I'm going to post this video, uh, I'm going to do some more planning for the expo in September, and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to put my living room back together because we've got all the couch cushions in bins and uh, things like that. So, you know, we've been three days without any incidents, any lice or new nits or anything like that that we've found. So I think we're safe, hopefully, to put things back together and just maybe get back to our lives a little bit. But, you know, I'm still combing my kid out uh, every morning and making sure before I send him back to school, because unfortunately, like, that's where it happens. It happens at school. You know, it's like, um, yeah, that's just how it is. Kids are kids. They rub up against each other. They share stuff. They just, <sighs> it's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful week and you don't have lice in your house and you can be productive and full of energy and good stuff this week. And, um, I'll be back on Friday, hopefully with something more cheerful to talk about. And, um, you know, that's it. Peace out.